Hi. In this video, I will introduce you to the uh, Luminate Monitor workspace. As in my previous video, I have closed all the widgets. I am now facing a blank workspace and I'm using the application in full screen. On the very top, you can see the IP address I am currently using to discover the devices and the version of the software. Also, you can see some specific menus like Preferences menu, file like new project, open project, save a project and save a project as the view. You will see there is some specific tools bar to select or exit the full screen. Tools. This is the tool where you want to, you will use to update your lamp library. For instance, if you manually create a library and that you push that file into the lamp library folder, you will need to click on update the lamp library for the software to be up to date with your newly created fixture. RDM, this will be covered into a separate video. Here you can access to all the sensors, the DMI conflict check tools, or load some custom PIDs. On the windows, this is where you can also select the widgets separately. The by default, the Luminate Monitor workspace will be with a, fitted with a white background, but for the purpose of that video, I have decided to use the night background. However, you can select from the daylight background by clicking on this icon, the sun icon, or going back to the night background by clicking on the moon icon. On the very top, you will see a icon for each available widget. If you don't know the purpose of each widget, simply hover the mouse over the icon and the software will give you the functionality. We have here the Artnet Universe view, the Artnet log, the DMX generator, the RDM devices, the patch, the LAMP library, the network devices, and finally the network statistics. Aside, you can see a project this project name can be filled into the Preferences menu. The Preference menu will be covered into a separate video. For instance, I can open one of the widgets, which is the Artnet Universe view. This will be covered into a separate video as well. What I want to show you here is each widget can be hooked to the application on the left-hand side, on the top, on the right hand side or on the bottom. In my case, I will hook the widget to the left hand side. However, if you are using multiple screen, it can be convenient just to uh, put this widget onto a separate screen. But in that case, I highly suggest you to click on this icon to lock the widget from being hooked to any part of the software. Now the widget can freely move onto all screens. For the purpose of the demo, I will hook it back on the left hand side. You can also stack multiple widgets above each other or directly stack them one onto the other one and then get access with separate tabs to any of the widgets. So as you can see, the software is fully, fully customizable and you can arrange the layout according to your needs. Thanks for watching.